Hey, problem solvers. Welcome to STEM, STEAM, because we like to add that little bit of art in there, right? Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So in social skills today, you all built a tall tower out of paper, right? We focused not only on talking about our goals so that we can stretch our fantastic elastic brain, but we focus on making our paper tower as tall as possible, right? Now I'm recording this video before I saw you guys do it, but I have every faith <laughs> in the world that your towers are tall and awesome and have some really beautiful goals written down on them, which is great. Now, I have an extra challenge for you that involves your tower that you just built. Think about towers and tall buildings in real life, right? Not only are they big and tall, but they're also very strong. So, let's think about that, right? Because, you know, if they just built the Empire State Building out of a paper-like material and focused on only making it tall, then what would happen on a windy day? What would happen if too many people walk on up to the top floor? So, to think like true engineers, we are going to take your tower that you already built and make it stronger. Your challenge is to make it so that your tower can support a heavy book on top. What do you think? You think you can do it? I think you can do it. I think it's going to take some redesigning and some extra supplies for this part of the project. You can go around your home and use any other supplies that you can find to reinforce your tower so that you can take any heavy, really any heavy object, but a book is a really good one, and place it on top without your tower collapsing or falling over. So now let's once again go over what like the definition of a tower is. A tower has empty space inside, right? So it's not just like a stack of materials. It's something that has empty space inside. Um, and um, and I want to make sure that you guys don't compromise any height. So you spent all of social skills building your tall tower. When you're making it stronger, don't let that height go down. Keep it that same height, but redesign it so that it can support a lot of weight. Okay, that is your challenge. And again, as true engineers do, we're going to take a look at some tall, strong towers that already exist, because we know that engineers take the good ideas of other engineers and apply them to their own work, right? Great minds think alike and all that. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to look at the 17 tallest buildings in the world. And I want to see if we notice any patterns that could help us when reinforcing our tower and making it stronger. So without further ado, whoop, the 17 tallest buildings in the world right now. We all know this one, right? I know I do. Um, it is the World Trade Center in Manhattan. And I want to see I want to look at this picture and think about what makes it so strong. One thing I do notice is that the base is wider than the top. It kind of starts off big and gets thinner as it goes up. It also has that fire here on top that adds a lot of height 
without adding a lot of weight. Interesting observation. Let's keep scrolling. Okay, these are in Kuala Lumpur. Let's see, there's 88 floors. What do you notice? Are these also wider on the bottom over there at the top? What about the materials? It's kind of hard to see in this photo, but as we're going through this list, let's also try to pay attention to um, the materials that are used. Okay. Oh, look, another set in Kuala Lumpur. Cool. So, ooh, look at this. There's this big base down here that's attached to these buildings, it looks like. And once again, it gets thinner the higher up you go. Okay. okay. I'm going to stop making my observation because I want you guys to try to make your own. What do you notice here? This is in China. Again, I'm just going to let you make your own observation. Um, and when you come back to Zoom, you can share them and apply them to your building. Ooh, that was beautiful. Where is this? Vietnam. Yeah, take a look. Make your own observations. I'm definitely seeing a pattern here. I'll at least give you that. I'm seeing what I've observed in the first couple of photos and a lot of them, huh? This here is in Russia. China. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze, but I didn't. Okay, China. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Still noticing a pattern. Okay. I will, I will say with this one, it's really interesting because it doesn't get thinner as it gets taller, but they found another way to make the top less heavy, which is fascinating. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Taiwan. What patterns do you notice? Look at a few more. Oh, that's not a very good picture of this one, but sure is tall. What do you notice about the shape? Hmm. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. What do you notice about the materials it's built out of? And the shape? And the base? Huh. What's different about the bottom of that than the top? This is really interesting. Well, this one's above the clouds. Wow. Why do you think the engineer chose to design the building this way? It's not shaped like a traditional building at all. Do you think there was a... Uh, a mathematical reason for that? I'm sure how we already talked about this one. Still noticing a pattern. You too? All right, there's only four more. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Because I think this is really helpful. This is giving me a lot of really good ideas for my tower. Okay. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful building right there. You want to see this big base here? It even looks like these on the side. Oh yeah, look, there's support structures. 
between the big tower and the side ones. And even here too, do you see that? That's a really good idea. I would love to see somebody implement this design. So I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about, but you see the big tower in the middle and then the little ones on the side that are attached to help support the big one in the middle. So cool. Ooh, this one almost looks curved a little bit. And the bridge Khalifa is still the tallest in the world. Again, I'm noticing that pattern of a wider base and a thinner top. So, I think we've got some really good ideas from looking at that. Um, go ahead and collect any supplies that you think you want to use to reinforce your tower. And I will see you on Zoom. Bye.